I have completed more than three months on board a ship and now I am making a series of videos by the name of tips and tricks in which with the help of some points I will share my experience and those who are about to join the ship or who already joined the ship this series of videos will definitely help them I can guarantee this much so let's start our first point Familiarization with engine room. Let me share my experience. First day when I entered in the engine room, my second engineer was there. He is Chinese, and my third engineer was there. He is Kerala guy, Indian. So third engineer told me, uh, "You take a round in the engine room and familiarize yourself with the engine room." Nobody gave me a tour like uh, these are the machineries we have, these are the pumps we have, these are the tanks we have. Nobody told me anything. I just take a look, and from one round I can easily identify the big machineries like this is the boiler, these are the generator. Main engine and many pumps like this, but there are many other things that I don't know, like this tanks for what? Uh, what is this tank? Because many places the names are not written. So what I did was after one or two days, I checked in the uh, engine room computer. There is uh, drawings of everything, every system, every layout. So I took a engine room layout printout and then I'll take a look. Okay, on which floor? What are the machineries? Then I go to that floor and then I checked again, and then I come to know that okay, this is this tank, this is this tank. Many uh, things you will not uh, identify when you are taking round, but if you see the layout, then you will help you to familiarize with the engine. Room very fast. Second point is familiarization with the logbook. When I was uh, after three four days, uh, when I started taking log with the greaser, so he is from Indonesia. He is not good with the communication. He don't know English much. So when I am taking log with him. so i know that he can tell me that you have to take this log this thermometer this gauge but he don't know like which machinery is this and this is inlet this is outlet because i haven't traced any lines at that time so i don't understand like how can i blindly mug up and uh, just start taking log and uh, log book is very big not very very big like there are like two pages there are so many readings you have to fill but you cannot remember everything in starting days so it was difficult for me to take log with the greaser so what i did was i take a photo of the log book and then i minimize the photo compress the photo and then take a print out of it so then i start taking log with the greaser so i used to write on the top of the every column like this is this machinery this is this machinery like if i am taking turbocharger rpm so i can write small like we are taking turbocharger rpm on second floor nearly this in my own language with code words i used to write on that page and so next time next day when i am going to take log i know that okay turbocharger rpm it is written there we are taking from the second floor near the main engine so like this i have written many things on that page and it will help me uh to better understanding of the logbook very fastly but if i uh, go with my greaser i cannot understand what he is saying and he also don't know many machineries he just mugged up that we are we have to take these these readings and he just straight away told me if you have to ask technical things you have to ask from the engineers and many time engineers also busy they will not give me a round of the for the logbook third point is ship is not like a school we have things in mind that they have some training program they will train us on the ship like they are they have some plan in the colleges but it is entirely different they don't care that we know or we don't know like they may get angry if we don't know anything they will just say you are here from one month from two month you don't know this you don't know that so but don't expect anything from your engineers from your greasers that they will tell you at the exact time they will teach you how to open purifier how to open pump how to do this don't uh, expect from them just keep observing the things and if they are good just ask them if you want to ask something maybe sometime they will reply sometime they will just straight away say uh, there are manuals you have to uh, read the manuals and if you want to know this you have to go and check in the manuals and everyone have same experience their seniors just told them go and check in the manuals we are not going to spoon feed you we are not going to tell you we don't have that much of time you have to uh, make things from your way so that is some uh, in some context it is right also you have to make your own way and you have to do the things in your own way
when you are coming from your home don't bring more clothes like uh, clothes for wearing on room clothes for wearing in the engine room under your boiler suit and clothes for going out on show lives and then you are taking two bags with full of clothes no need of these so many clothes on board because mostly people we are very less clothes on in the cabin and very less show live maybe three four five hardly five some people will get show live in their entire six month contract many people just get one or two show lives so no need of too many occasional clothes also just take care that uh, bring some clothes which you uh, which you want to wear under the boiler suit so that daily if you are changing then you have to wash in many days and just take care of uh, socks and undergarments that's all instead of clothes you can bring other stuff also some homemade stuff some snacks if you want to because that will help you in starting days maybe in your ship uh, food is not good if you are a vegetarian then definitely you are going to suffer if you are a non vegetarian then maybe at some part you are good because uh, non veg is always there but the way of cooking is not same maybe as we are doing in india or nearby countries uh, every country have different way and it will totally depend on the chief cook how he is going to make it so bring snacks i will definitely advise you if you are coming and you are not bringing so many clothes you have space then bring snacks or some homemade things which can last at least one or two months this familiarization with the master list okay every month there are drills on board a ship okay drills are not like today only fire drill after one week uh, have abandon ship drill when drill happens two three drills happen at the same time like first uh, fire drill after finish of fire drill then they will do a uh, abandon ship then they do a oil spill so you must know your duties that time maybe you will not get enough time to check your duties like in case of abandon ship what are your duties in case of fire what are your du duties so when you are first week on board there are many places in the accommodation also in the ecr also it is a, just a simple list in many columns it is written that if this emergency happens what is the duty of this person what is the duty of this person what is the duty of engine cadet like in abandon ship my duties I, I have to wear my life jacket i have to go to the bridge and then i have to take the gmdss and the sart and then i have to come back to my appropriate lifeboat station either port or starboard and maybe you can think like this if you are joining your ship and uh, within 4 days maybe some emergency happens we are taking bunker and some oil spill happened and you don't know your duty then people will not say like you are new joiner they will say you should know your duty in case of emergency because so many places must really start there why you haven't checked your duties so I, like in my ship on outside of my cabin on my gate it is written my name and under that my duties in case of emergency are also written so you should know your duties and the last point is if you are not on a ums ship or maybe in ums ship also i am not uh, confirm you have to work with the second engineer for most of the time because second engineer have more work in comparison to other engineers so mostly you have to be with second engineer so he will make a report for you if second engineer is signing off if chief engineer is signing off he will also make a report for you every time when you this two top bosses are signing off they will make a appraisal appraisal for you and in that they will write something uh, good or bad things about you and they will rate you like uh, he is good excellent uh, average or below average like this so in other words you can say that you have to uh, keep impressed your top two bosses one is chief engineer second is uh, second engineer so if you are working with second engineer and you are not an ums ship then you will be in the second engineer's work. my aim is to i have to reduce his work whatever work he is doing like some works are very constant that he used to do like um, turbocharger dry washing starting of fresh water generator starting of generators starting of boiler uh, preparing the engine for maneuvering in some next videos i will tell you how to prepare engine if we are uh, arriving on a port if we are departure from a port like this i will tell you what are the things you need to do in the engine room your senior engineer will just straight away say go and prepare the engine that's it then you should know how to prepare the engine for this i will make a full entire video and i was saying you have to reduce your second engineer's work then he will start liking you you also have to help him in some paperwork because second engineer side have a lot of paperwork if you are a very good company then paperwork will be increasing and increasing if you are a average company then also uh, second engineer will having a lot of paperwork 
सो इफ यू आर रिड्यूसिंग हिज वर्क देन इफ यू आर आस्किंग हिम क्वेश्चन देर आर मोर चांसेज दैट ही विल आंसर टू योर क्वेश्चन लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग वेन यू फर्स्ट ज्वाइन योर शिप you will be confused greaser or oiler or motorman anybody is helping the second engineer they are oiler and motorman or greaser they are very experienced they know like if he is opening this machinery what is the next step so what so he will uh, automatically go to the next step and help him but you will just keep on standing because you will think like i don't know how to help him because you are confused but after some days you will learn that if the same job you are repeating you should remember that the last time what we did the next step and you should keep on uh, thinking in your mind what is the next step then your second engineer will definitely notice that thing like this guy is picking up the thing he is generally a help for me not just you are just observing and after finish of the job you are just cleaning it that is not your purpose you have to keep on thinking about what is the next step and you have to reduce his work so that's all from my side in this video next tips and tricks video will be coming very very soon i will definitely ensure that i hope you like this video if you like this video click on the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want uh, this type of videos to watch and on the upcoming series of videos of tips and tricks i will ensure you the level of the videos will keep on increasing and it will definitely help you if you are about to join a ship or already join a ship we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye take care